Hello and welcome to Tech It. So, apart from my major playthrough, I also want to do these tutorial videos. I've had a lot of questions where um, people were saying, you know, uh, you're going through it too fast and how do I make this stuff? So, I just want to have like separate tutorial videos. Um, at the start, there's going to be quite a few of them in, 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 a, in, a, in a couple of days, but after that, it'll probably be one or two per video that will just show exactly what I've been doing. Um, and how to make it in, in just more detail and more details about how it works and stuff. So if you haven't followed my playthroughs, this is sort of my uh, my build so far. Go check that out. Uh, I'll put a link in the uh, oh, an annotation, I guess. So first off, we're going to start with the basics. So as you can see here, these are not the basics. So what you want to do first is get some copper, get some tin. And smelt those, and you get this um, these tin ingots uh, and the copper ingots, and also get some iron. Now, these are very easy to get. Copper is very, very, very common, and tin as well. But you also need some redstone to start. Now, apart from that, you're gonna need some rubber. Now, rubber is easy to to get, although you need a lot of it. So, to get rubber. There's a couple of different ways, but the, the easiest way, especially when you start, is to have some wood and make a tree tap like that. And then we go find some rubber trees. And I don't know if there's any close to me anymore because I farmed this whole area, I guess. Oh, there are some. So the way to easily recognize rubber trees and why I could see straight away that there was one there is because of these little tops there, as you can see. That means it's a rubber tree. So let's just uh, let's just fly over there. Now I can fly because I've got a jetpack, which will be in one of my later tutorials. And there's a pig on a tree. That's that's normal in these parts. So this is a rubber tree. You can see it's uh, got a different color as well. This is uh, the Sfax texture pack. Um, but even in other texture packs, you can see it because of these little tops. And these things are rubber. So you can just cut down the tree, and sometimes it'll give you. Um, rubber but it's just it's not very efficient so if we have this tree trap you just right click on one of these and it'll make you a sticky resin and there's another one here it can give you one two or three each and they regrow as well so you don't actually need to cut it down and a good tip for this is when you're doing this make sure you check all the size of the trees as they are sometimes under the leaves nope that's all, so I'll just cut this down because it looks a bit neater. There we go. Now these can drop saplings as well. Can I show you that? <laughs> Maybe not, of course not. Anyways, these can drop saplings just like any other tree. You can plant them, you can make a nice uh, rubber farm. And you can get all this sticky resin. Now with this sticky resin, there's two ways to get rubber from it. The first way is to cook it up in a furnace. So it doesn't matter what furnace. So I've got some electric furnaces set up here. But you can use a normal furnace if you want. And I will go... And it will make some rubber. Now mine is set up to automatically pump in this chest. So we should see some rubber here soon. There we go. Now, once you've got a load of rubber, and I'm just going to spawn some in, just because I want to keep you guys waiting. Uh, so let's go for a rubber. Boink. Easy. Now, the first thing you want to do after that is use that rubber to make some copper cables. Uh, insulated copper cables, even. So the way you do that is very easy. Is You have your iron ingots, and you need to smelt them again. And as when you smelt them again, and I'll just do a half a stack, it'll create, and I've already have some here. I'll just get rid of this rubber for you. So when you smelt the iron ingots again, you get refined iron. And you're gonna need quite a lot of this. Now you go to your crafting bench, you get your rubber out, and your copper, and we're not gonna use the refined iron just of yet. And there you go, copper cables. You get six of them at each time, so it's not too bad. So once you get that set up, you do want to start up thinking about making some better 
machines instead of just a normal furnace. So the first thing you want to make is something called the macerator. The normal one, not the rotary macerator, that's, a, that's an upgraded version. So you make this with free flint, some cobblestone, a machine block and an electronic circuit. Now I don't think I have any flint. Nope. So we'll just spawn some in because hey, it's a tutorial. One, two, three. There we go. And let's also already get some cobblestone. Now, we needed a machine block. And you need this for every single machine in Industrial Craft. So the way you make that's very easy. You just put a hollow square of refined iron like so. And that makes you a machine block. Now we also needed a circuit. And also circuits you need for every single machine out there. So the way you make that is refined iron in the middle. Redstone on the sides. And I believe it was copper cables all around. There you go, electronic circuit. So once you got those, you put the circuit in, in the bottom, machine block on, on top of that, the flint all across the top, some cobble, and there you go, there's your macerator. Now, your macerator makes ores. Do I have any ores? I don't have any ores. Let me, let me get some ores for you so I can show you. Say some gold ore some iron ore. If I put that in here, it's going to macerate it. Now it takes quite a while, so that's why I've got four set up here. Is it four? Five? Four. And this will make iron dust and it'll be pulled out directly, but I'll see if I'm fast enough. Oh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> click, 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 click. Yeah, there we go. Iron dust. Now as you can see, from one iron ore we get two iron dust. And with this each iron dust gives you one iron bar or iron ingot. So it'll actually double your income, which is pretty handy. Now to run the macerator you need power. As you can see here, it's got like a little power icon which is empty at the moment. So you need power. And the easiest way to get power at start is by making a generator. And we make that like so. Or like this, but I think this uses less iron. No, this uses less iron, so use this. This is easier. So we need a battery, or an RE battery more specifically. Again, a machine block and a normal furnace. So we can uh, we can make that. We can do the iron in a hollow square. That's a machine block. Uh, the furnace, I'm, I'm guessing you'll know how to make that. <laughs> Which is cobblestone in a, in a hollow square, of course. And a battery. Now a battery is made with uh, copper cables, so let's make some more of those. Make some more of those. So a battery is a cable at the top, tin on the sides, the bottom sides, and some redstone in the middle, and that makes you an RE battery. Now once you have all those things, furnace in the bottom, machine block in the middle, RE battery on the top, and that makes you a generator. And let's see, we have two options here. We can either, let's do it the ugly way, just to show, can show you something else. So you place the generator down, you put some coal in it, or anything else that burns. Um, I would actually say use charcoal, because it's cheaper. So once you have that, this is going to fill up, and then it's at full velocity, and it's making power for us. Now, if you put this right next to a macerator, it'll power it directly, but usually that's not the case. For example, my generators are in my uh, basement, and all these are here. Now, you hook these up with, power, with cables. So, we still have some copper cables. These will work fine for this sort of low power stuff. And you just connect them like that. Or, of course, in a nicer way. <laughs> and there you have it. Your macerator is now up and running. So, if I put ore in here, it'll start macerating it. And I believe you can even put other things in there. A cobblestone you can put in there. You can put um, gravel in there to make flint, which is quite handy. And then you can just pick it out. Now that's not the most easy way. And that's why we have automation. So I'll show you that in the next tutorial. Thanks, guys.